How then foodies? How are you? I hope you're all fantastic. Hope you're having a great day. And today, it's Friday. Not at the time of filming, it's Friday when this is coming out. It's Fish and Chip Friday. Everyone loves Fish and Chip Friday. Who else has Fish Friday? Come on. Let me know in the comments if you have Fish and Chips every Friday. We're having Harry Ramsden's Fish and Chips. Ooh, we've been to Iceland. Now, Fish and Chips twice with peas and curry sauce. Upside down, mushy peas, curry sauce, total nine quid. It's not bad fish and chips twice, is it? It's a bit of a treat in it. It's cheaper than chip shop. So let's uh, let's have a look at all these boxes. So here we go. This is it. Nine quid for all this lot. Two jumbo battered Atlantic cod fillets. We've got two pots of chip shop mushy peas. Two pots of chip shop curry sauce, and a one kilogram bag of Maris Piper chip shop chips. Harry Ramsden's at home. So basically, for me, it's fish and chips twice for nine quid. Cab, that's that's decent, isn't it? If it's as good as it is in the in the shop, Harry Ramsden's. So I'm gonna have a quick scan of these boxes. So that is all the details. If you want to pause that for the peas. They are microwavable, so we'll be microwaving them for three minutes. So we'll put them to one side now. This is all the details for the curry sauce. If you want to have a look and pause that. That is also microwavable, so we'll be doing that as well. In the microwave, we'll put that to one side. Jumbo battered Atlantic cod fillets. So you can get, you can choose between cod and haddock. There's a bit of spiel there from uh, this guy. I'm guessing that's Harry Ramsden. When it comes to good honest food, Harry Ramsden certainly know a thing or two. Today, nearly 100 years since our founding, we are as passionate as ever about bringing you delicious food that the whole family will enjoy. We've worked hard to adapt our famous recipe for your kitchen so you can enjoy Britain's favourite food, oven baked. So, cooking instructions are there. They're going to take 40 to 45 minutes in the oven. Um, big box and then and they've put the tiniest so they're the ingredients there so it's 60 percent cod that's not a great deal to say that it's a piece of fish and there's four all that other all the other ingredients which is not focusing now for some reason all them other ingredients add up to 40 percent of the, the fish so the batter is 40% effectively. So it says bones may remain, which is you expecting in fish. So 436 calories per per fillet. So obviously contains two. I've only ever wanted here. My cat just piling through the cat flap there. So yeah, let's have a look at the chips. So the chips would take 20 25 minutes so the fish has got to go in first then the chips then obviously the curry and the peas at the end chips are pretty standard 94 percent potato there's the nutritional information if you want to pause that per 100 grams which is one tenth of the bag so you're probably having double of that so i reckon that's about 340 calories maybe more for the chips so you've got to cook from frozen it's the same spiel on this bag it's the same geezer mr ramsden yeah, so chips are chips, aren't they? So let's get into it. Let's. I'm gonna. I'll put the fish in, and then uh, I'll might as well just bring you back when I'm done. To be honest, it's gonna be a lot of faffing. So I'll bring you back when they're done, and it's all on a plate. First things first. Let's get a fish out of here. Let's have a look at these fish. These take the longest at 45 minutes. Hey, hey look at that! They're a decent size, aren't they? Blooming heck! That looks decent, that, to be fair. I mean, it's obviously a little bit different from your uh, deep fried one at the chip shop, but, you know, that's not bad, that. I'm quite impressed with the size of that. The box were big, so I thought it would be big, but it's a decent one, like that. So we'll get that in for 20 minutes, and then we'll add the chips to it. So, the chips are on the baking tray now, ready to go in, 20 minutes. 25 minutes. I had a tip from somebody that said 
cook your chips or anything that you need to turn over on your unless it's going to leak through something that's solid and you could just have a on your baking on your pizza baking tray with the holes in and you don't have to turn it over as much and it cooks through so let's get these in the oven then 20 minutes and then we can get on with the micro peas and curry there's about five minutes left and uh, so time to get into these because these microwave in three minutes apparently let's have a look at these so you get two pots of peas so it's just full on pots what you have to do let's have a look at the instructions move out of packaging and PS film lid several times is that the same for this move out of packaging and PS film is three minutes ten seconds so the curry wants ten more seconds of the peas apparently so I'm guessing it's going to be the same yeah you've got your curry sauce there and your mushy peas there so decent size portions PS film lid Oh, look, I smell the curry. And then we'll get in the microwave and it, plate it up and bring you back. So they are ready. These chips have just come out of the oven. They're looking beautiful brown. <laughs> they don't look greasy at all. The fish is massive still. Seems like it's crunchy on the outside. Not as battered as you would expect on a, from the... Harry Ramsden's restaurant but let's get it all into a plate and have a try so disclaimer we're just about to put the peas and the curry sauce on but three minutes we could put them in together even at a thousand watts is not enough time so I'm hoping that this is not going cold it's not going cold but we we'll have to go back in for another couple of minutes so we'll come back so there it is done fish chips and mushy peas as you can see I've got a couple of slices of bread as well. That is it. Looks decent, doesn't it? And this is the curry sauce, which by the way smells exactly like you'd expect from direct from a fish shop. So here's the dilemma. Salt and vinegar first. Or curry sauce first. Let me know in the comments what you do. You're gonna about to find out what I do. As you've seen me put salt and vinegar on, here comes the curry. The curry smells delicious. I double, double salt and vinegar before and after the curry. I know it's not good for you, salt, but Listen, it's fish and chips in it. Let's have a taste. So it's all important taste time now. We're going to try the mushy peas because you can't really go wrong with mushy peas. Ooh, the proper like fish and chip shop, seaside fish, fish and chip shop mushy peas. I mean, they're going to look the same. The curry sauce is delicious. It's got a bit of a kick to it, but it's delicious. The chips are thick, but they look like they're, they're fluffy inside. Mmm, they're really nice. They're not as big as I thought. They're quite a lot of small ones, but they're not small and like no potato inside. They're small and they've got actual, they're like proper, the full chips there. It is really nice. The curry sauce is unbelievable. It's the, the fish. It's a nice, solid piece of fish, piece of cod. Looks soft, light. It's not as it's obviously not deep fried as it? it's uncooked, so that's kind of the Oh wow. Oh wow, that is unbelievable that fish. I've had breaded fish at home or battered fish at home before, just like your normal standard cheap. It's expensive, don't get me wrong. It's fibre for two of these fish, but like, so this is £4.50 for this meal. Uh, well, not so much, because there's not as much um, chips on there as that I made. But, rounding it up, four and a half quid fish and chips and mushy peas, curry sauce. But that fish is so different to like the, the normal ones you get for a couple of quid. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. 
That's a game changer right there. Look at this. Look at that fish. Oh. Wow. That, the taste of that is absolutely spectacular. The chips are nice, they're thick. The chips are probably not as good as what they would be if they were deep fried. But I'll tell you what, they're not bad. The fish is spectacular. The curry sauce is, I've not ever seen a curry sauce that tastes like the chip shop curry sauce, and this does. So well done, Mr. Hiramson. But the fish, it's on another world. It's on another level. It's unbelievable. Oh my God. Right, the only issue I've got is, if I'm rating that as a, at home, it's a 10 out of 10. The only issue I've got, I love fish and chips, but the only issue I've got is, it, I'm trying to come, if I'm comparing it to actual Harry Ramsden's, I'm not 100% sure. There's other one way to find out. We're going to go to Harry Ramsden's. We're going to take girls to Seaside, and we're going to go to Harry Ramsden's. So that video will probably come in a day or two. It's the only way to compare it. So thank you for watching this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. And look out for the, the one we're going to Blackpool. Whee!